up everybody and welcome to weekly Wednesdays for new comic books coming out on uh, damn it Edgar you're supposed to tell me this dude uh Friday no <laughs> why are you the Josh Whedon to my Zack Snyder <laughs> <laughs> it's Christian the Zack Snyder I'm trying <laughs> all right let's do this again what's up everybody and welcome to weekly Wednesdays for new comic books coming out on November the 29th 2017 <laughs> What's up, everybody? And again, and welcome to Weekly Wednesdays. I hope that uh, everybody had a great uh, Thanksgiving. Um, how was your Thanksgiving, man? <laughs> Just not? That's it? <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> well, well it's Edgar is behind the camera because Christian's not here this week. Christian will be back next week, so don't you worry, everybody. Um, but as always, Matt's back there. So say hi, Matt. See, there it is. <laughs> <Will you put? laughs> yeah so there's matt right there so he's coming my way i don't know what he's trying to do um but yeah we hope that uh, everybody had a great uh holiday weekend i know that we had um for uh some of you that may have been here during doomsday clock um it was um it was spectacular it was one of those things that um like i said before our events are getting larger and larger um and that event was no exception so um just to tell you a little bit about um what happened in doomsday clock essentially we oh, we closed our doors at around eight o'clock uh our normal business hours we closed down the doors and then what ended up happening was um uh there was a lineup that started forming at around I believe, yeah, around 8.30. And there was only like a few people here and there. And then it started to build up and build up and build up. Um, you can see from the pictures that um, I'm going to put it up here, somewhere here as always. Uh, that pic This picture right here is essentially just the first half of the night. And then we took a second photo, which is this one right here. This is about around 10 o'clock. Um, you can see it further down, you, uh, you'll see on the photo that someone has a lawn chair. Yes, people start bringing their lawn chairs now. And then at the 11.57 p.m., two and a half minutes before midnight as the launch date for uh, Doomsday Clock, what ended up happening is that this happened. And if you look carefully, um, the door is not even shut. And that's no joke. Um, I, have, I have no idea what the capacity is for this door. But like I said before, if you look back on the other weekly Wednesday that I um, that we filmed during um, Batman and Harley Quinn Day, I said that we may have to, to get a bigger place. Um, and this is the testament for it. Um, it was huge. It was a huge lineup and the door wasn't closed. Um, I want to give a special thank you to everybody that came on Doomsday Clock. Um, it was it was a it was a, it was a great day, um, a great night actually. Uh, everything rolled into the following Wednesday, so midnight. So everybody got their stuff, including Doomsday Clock, at seventeen percent off. As you guys know, every Wednesday, if you pick up your pull list and you pick up new release and variant covers, at seventeen percent off. So not only they got their pull list at seventeen percent off, but they also got Doomsday Clock at seventeen percent off. And and the lucky 20 people in line, the first 20 people in line, actually get the sketch variant that uh, we were, uh, that I was um, letting everybody know, and it was it was great. It was a great night. We had a tournament. We had our Injustice 2 tournament. Uh, shout out to the uh, Andrew. Uh, shout out to Andrew, who's the new champion for Injustice 2. It was uh, it was amazing. Um, Andrew was here. He's behind the camera. Um, how did you like it, Andrew? It was good, right? Yeah, he's nodding his head. He said it was nice. Um, what about you, Matt? What did you think about uh, Doomsday Clock? There you go. <laughs> if, <laughs> for most of you guys don't know, but uh, that's uh, that's that's his word for awesome. So um, Matt's words are kind of like Pikachu. He says one word like swag and you already know what that means. Uh, anyway, so we have a lot more. Um, Doomsday Clock is just one of the um, few news that we have that's going around the store. And as you guys know, as always, this is my handy dandy um, notebook. <laughs> 
throwback for the Blue's Clues there for some of you guys. Uh, I got a few notes in here. Uh, another thing about besides the Doomsday Clock turnout is that um, in the store itself, um, we will be having, uh, and this will be a first around this area, and it's going to be very, it's one of the big announcements that we have today. Um, the um, where we're going to be having a pressing here at the store so uh, we're going to be starting to press your books uh, restoration if you will uh, for your 90s bronze uh, current age bronze age 90s um, silver age books so anything from silver age and up to current will be able to do some restoration um, for your books we're going to start pressing them so um, if you get a comic book that's actually that has a real a little wrinkle on it and you know that CGC is going to downgrade it a little bit come by to the store and we will definitely press them for you um, currently right now we don't have the time and date but definitely stay tuned on our Facebook and our Instagram we will be um, putting up the times and day when we're going to be having the uh, pressing available for you guys so definitely keep a watch that's going to be really big so that we can restore your old books and then you can get them graded um, on a higher grade instead of uh, having a six you'll have a nine eight or something like that but um, that's going to be in this store we can definitely restore your old book silver all the way down to current so keep that in mind um, tune in on Facebook and Instagram will give you more details there as well but that's gonna be starting next week another thing that we actually want that I want to mention too as well is that I didn't get to mention this last week um, this store um, YouTube channel as you guys know is the most viewed YouTube channel for a comic book store in the greater Miami area and that's all thanks to you guys who actually watches every week and watches Matt every week and watches this store and follow us uh, on YouTube as well. If you haven't followed us and you do watch us every week, that's completely okay too as well. It's really appreciated if you do subscribe and then you can hit that notification uh, so you don't miss a um, you don't miss an episode. But um, if you rather not, that's completely fine too as well. It's uh, we appreciate the fact that you view us every week. Um, this store actually hit 100 subscribers. So um, currently right now, I've been promoting this all the time. If you guys subscribe and we hit 100 subscriptions, we will have a nice URL. And as you guys can see right down here, this is our brand new URL. That is uh, youtube.com forward slash multiverse core comics. So it's not random numbers and letters anymore. It is nice and beautiful looking. So um, thank you for everyone who subscribed and uh, follow us every week week at our YouTube channel another milestone that we want to actually that I would like to mention um, actually Matt actually let me know that I have to mention this to you guys too as well is that we have finally finally this store has reached 213 subscribers that is amazing um, we've only been around for about three months and for to hit 213 subscriber we are currently the fastest growing comic book store here in Miami Florida so that's all thanks to you guys again I can't thank you guys enough for trusting us with your pull list and trusting us every week for your books and you know we always commit to you guys and we always promise you guys that uh, we're gonna take care of your books and we always do uh, we may not be perfect in terms of getting everything that you need um, because our, our subscription has grown faster than our inventory. So I have to constantly order things uh, up to the minute and that's completely fine. Again, that's thanks to you guys. Thank you very much for, um, for trusting us with your pull list every week. Um, and we're still currently growing. We're not stopping it. <laughs> uh, we're not stopping. We're not gonna stop and we're gonna keep going. And definitely let your friends and family know who are um, very into comic books and very particular in how they take care of things. Because you know, you know how we do things here. We give you the um, the bagging boards for free. They are anti-acid BCW bagging boards, and we do this all the time. This is the infamous white gloves. So uh, definitely let your friends and family know about this store. Um, that uh, they gotta hop on board. Uh, this is uh, this is a momentous uh, this is a momentous thing for a comic book store. So thank you for 
the community that supported us all along the way. And we will um, definitely give that back to you. And trust me, at the end of this announcement, there is something big coming too as well. Another thing that we want to uh, mention too as well is that our website, um, www.multiversecorecomics.com has been um, remodified a little bit. So it's, easy, it's, it's easier to use right now. Is it aesthetically pleasing? Somewhat. I would say I'll give it an eight out of 10. What about you, Edgar? <laughs> Edgar gives it a seven. Uh, I think it's nice. It's a lot more user friendly now. It's a lot easier to navigate. So definitely go ahead on our website, go to multiversecorecomics.com and uh, you'll see that uh, everything's a little bit more user friendly and easier to navigate. Another thing that um, we want to actually um, announce to you guys is that we Currently, right now at this store, we do have gift cards now. Uh, we are going to be um, handing out gift cards for the holidays. We are getting ready. We do have a whole set in here now. So if you are interested in getting gift cards, definitely go ahead and make your way to the store. Um, there is no limit to the gift card. You can put five, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars in there. It doesn't matter. It has no expire expiration date. Um, definitely come and get your gift cards here at the store. Um, if you want to um, for Christmas or for Hanukkah, for um, what else? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. <laughs> Any other holidays coming up, definitely come and get your gift cards here at the store. Again, there's no limit. You can go up to five, 10, 15, 20, 25 dollars. Doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and ask me, Matt or Christian um, here when you do um, when you do get here in the store. Now for the big announcement. So as you guys already know, we made an announce. Uh, we made a video about concerning about an, a momentous announcement for our phase two part two of our plan for you guys. As you know, we start rolling out phase one with the savings, 15% uh, off, variant covers, new releases. We do not charge for bagging boards. Those are phase one. Phase two, um, essentially what uh, what it is, is that we give you 17% off every Wednesday when you pick up your pull list. And then when you get random new releases and variant covers as well. And then another part of that phase two, um, phase introduction phase two is that we are also open until 9 p.m. every Wednesday now. So I do have to stretch that out. We are open until 9 p.m. every Wednesday. Um, so currently right now, we are at phase two, part two of our business plan for you guys, which focus around customer service um, and customer experience. So the phase two, part two, there's two things that we need to announce. One is that as you guys know, that DC Comics, they rotate on a four-week basis, meaning that they have certain titles that actually rotates and get released on the four weeks, uh, four weeks in the month. So you got your action comics, you got your detective comics, all those stuff in there. And they get released within the four weeks of the month. But just like today, there is a random fifth week. And when there's a random fifth week, as you're going to find out today, we're, they only have annuals. They have annuals number one, number two, depending on what it is. And they only have like one or three titles that they release. Um, for some reason, DC couldn't figure out how to rotate all their titles on a five week rotation instead of four weeks. So uh, essentially what's, what happens on the fifth week rotation, uh, fifth week of the month, fifth Wednesday of the month, um, Everything tends to be a little light on the Marvel, on I'm sorry, on the DC side as well. On the DC side, and Marvel is a little bit too on that side, but um, DC rotates on a four-week basis, so it's a little bit light. So when you come to the store, you're going to be like, why is it bare? Like, did Tim order anything this week? No, it's just that um, they rotate in a four-week basis. Every fifth week is very light. So this is what we are all, uh, what we are going to be offering on every fifth Wednesday of the month. So remember, I'm gonna repeat again. Every fifth Wednesday of the month, we are offering 20% off on your pull list. Everything on your pull list, on your new release, on random new releases if you do pick them up, and on random variant covers. Again, I'm gonna repeat this. Every fifth Wednesday of the month, everything on your pull list will be 20% off as well as new releases 
and variant covers. So this is something that's really, really huge and really, really big. And we are the only one that's definitely be offering that. And as you guys know, our discount goes a long way because we do not charge you for bagging boards. We do not charge you for anything extra. So that 20% off is all yours. So just remember, again, I'm gonna repeat that again. This is a really, really good deal. Every fifth Wednesday of the month, you will get 20% off on your pull list, everything in your bag, as well as new release and variant covers. And finally, the very, very big news too as well, the second big news that we have for phase two, part two of our uh, business plan that focus around customer service and customer experience, um, essentially is we are at currently this time, November 28th, and 29th, <laughs> November 28th, 29th, currently right now at this time, at whatever time it is now, we are the only comic book store in the greater Miami area that has an Android app. That's right. We are the only comic book store in the greater Miami area that has an app now. Uh, it is on a beta testing currently right now for Android. And I promise you by next week, we will try to release the iPhone um, iOS um, app there too as well. But currently right now it's an Android. So if you have an Android phone, you can definitely download this app right now. Wait. Yes, right now. <laughs> let's give it, I mean like we post weekly Wednesdays around 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. So let's give it to like 12 p.m., right? 12 p.m. So uh, we have a few, we have about 20 people right okay. we have about 20 people that's actually trying out the beta right now uh, we gave it out to the first 20 people uh, we gave it out during our our doomsday clock actually that's when we announced it uh, as a gift to everybody that came to doomsday clock so 20 people from the doomsday clock event actually currently right now are beta testing the android and so far is uh, we, got a, we got a good view on it right yeah, we got a good review on it. <laughs> so um, the whole app itself focuses on basically everything that you need. The current new releases uh, following us on YouTube so that uh, you can watch weekly Wednesdays there too as well as, as well as sense uncensored reviews and our brand new shows as well. Our contacts there too as well. Directions. Um, essentially at the very uh, our end game is that we want to provide you a service that you can view all of your pull lists and you can add and remove them um, currently right now um, you can add and remove your pull list but um, definitely wait up in there until um, you download it um, you'll see that um, there's gonna be updates uh, there's gonna be frequent frequent updates there keep in mind this is beta uh, version 1.01 .01 right now and uh, there's gonna be a consistent update on it because we're gonna keep giving you content in there so once you download it on the Android app let us know how what you guys think about it um, how many times it crashes, what you guys wanna see, all that stuff in there. So I've been talking for a long time, that's a lot of news to handle. Um, essentially, it's still gonna be the exact same length for the video, but uh, because it's a light week today, uh, this week. So without further ado, let's get through all these books. So first up, as always, is the hardcovers and trade paperbacks. This week, there's only trade paperbacks that came out. So we're gonna start with Assassination Classroom. This is a manga book in here that was been requested by a few of our uh, subscribers Subscribers. So this is by Yutsi Matsui. Uh, definitely something to pick up. This is Moon Knight Volume 1. So Moon Knight has been uh, Volume 1 of Jeff Lemire's run has been very successful and something's been requested as well. And you, here's another one from Image. This is Velvet Secret Lives of Dead Men uh, Volume 2. Volume 2 of Shudder. This is another one that's been requested by one of our subscribers. Copperhead Volume 2. New one from IDW. This is TMNT Universe Volume 1. And finally a new one from Dark Horse just in time for the actual Call of Duty game that just came out. This is Call of Duty Zombies. This is the comic book form. Definitely something you may want to pick up if you are a big Call of Duty zombie fan. 
Now moving on to the independent circuit. This is Hi Fi Fight Club. This is number four, Heavy Vinyl. Another one from IDW. This is Uncle Scrooge, number 32. A brand new number one from IDW. This is Powerpuff Girls, Bureau of Bad, number one. Here's the Powerpuff Girls, number one, Bureau of Bad variant cover. And here is the other variant cover as well. Rick and Morty, number 32. Here is the Rick and Morty, number 32 variant cover as well. If you're big fans of the Star Trek Discovery, this is Star Trek Discovery, the light of Alice. Is that right, Edgar? Alice? Star Trek number one. <laughs> Kill or be killed, number 14. Lola XOX, number five. Here is a gorgeous looking Disney-esque um, cover. This is uh, Lola XOX, number five, bearing cover. And a very Sin City-like uh, cover here. Uh, here again, this is Lola XOX, number five. To everyone that think that Spawn is, uh, is, uh, is over, this is another one that's uh, that's yeah, that's gonna be kept going. This is part five of the Dark Horrors uh, spawn number 280. Spawn number 280 variant cover as well. Everyone's favorite hack and slash. This is hack and slash resurrection number two. And here is the hack and slash resurrection number two variant cover as well. The wait is over for everyone's favorite uh, seven deadly sins. This is sacred creatures number five. And here is sacred creatures number five variant cover as well. And finally, after months and months of I of dynamite pushing this this thing back over and over <laughs> I know everyone's been requesting this over and over but here it is finally here at the store after months and months this is John Wick number one essentially exploring the history of why he is known as the Baba Yaga and here is the John Wick variant cover number one as well next up is for Marvel this is Poe Dameron this is Poe Dameron number 21 Mace Windu number four the Lethal Protector storyline for Legacy continues. This is Venom number 158. Moon Knight number 189. Spider Gwen number 26. And a new storyline for X-Men Blue. This is X-Men Blue number 16. Cross Time Capers number 1. Or sorry, part 1. And here's a new one for the Marvel Legacy. And I'm assuming that everyone might be feeling some sort of um, 90s nostalgia here. This is Dark Hawk number 51. The Return. This is one of one. So this is a one shot legacy and finally the big release for marvel this is old man logan legacy number 31 the scarlet samurai part one now rounding up this week's uh releases is dc comics and first up again um sorry uh just to backtrack a bit just to let you guys know again this is the fifth week um for the dc rotation again keep in mind i've said it over and over on the on the beginning of this video that everything that on your pull list starting today is 20 percent off new releases and variant covers are 20 percent off and to kick that off is this Hal Jordan number 33 the Twilight of the Guardians definitely a book that um, you may want to check out right after the um, the metal tie-ins and here is the Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps variant cover as well first up for the annuals this week this is Injustice 2 annual number one the history of um, uh, actually the origin of Wonder Woman for in the Injustice world Green Annual uh, Green Arrow sorry Sorry, green Arrow, not Green Annual. Green Arrow, number one annual. Super Sons, annual number one. Justice League of America, annual number one. Here is Aquaman, annual number one. What dreams may come. Here is Batman, annual number two. This is Date Nights, Last Rites. So if you guys have been following the whole proposal, the reproposal of Bruce Wayne to Selina Kyle, uh, something definitely that you might want to pick up. This is actually one of those stories that um, kind of cross between them two as well. And this is the new talent showcase number one. Now, uh, for the most part, not a lot of people know this, but the new talent showcase is something that DC does also every year. Uh, what they do is that they have several um, new stories in one book. So essentially, this little thick book in here is several comic books all in one price. So um, essentially, they're trying to feature some of their main titles and see if that's something that you may be interested in. But um, these are all original stories, as I said you can tell it does say Scott Snyder uh, introducing um, various uh, new um, artists too as well. Satana this is one of those um, rare ones that's actually a not a one shot but a uh, a short 
story or short yeah short issues i think it's up to six this is uh book one actually this is mystic you here's another one that's for the short um short live um short stories kind of like um the short series that um, New Order kind of type or Dark Prince. Um, this is Batman Creatures of Night. Now I did catch a glimpse at this. This is a very, very, very unique uh, take on Batman. This is something that's very unexpect uh, unexpected. Um, I really, really enjoyed this book. Uh, really enjoyed this book. So definitely, uh, we only have a limited amount of this book here. So definitely, uh, come grab yours. Uh, have get. Yeah, Take a good read at it. Again, we let you guys read the book first before you buy it. So take a good read on it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed with this book here. And finally, the big release for uh, DC to everyone who has been curious um, about metal and to everyone who missed out on the first two preludes to metal, which is the forge and the casting. This is the forge, the casting director's cut all in one. This is two books all in one book. Nope. Nope issue there you go <laughs> this is two books all in one issue this is the dark days forge and casting uh number one so if you flip through this book in here you'll see that all of them are not coloring they're all sketch it's actually an amazing take on the forge and the casting so um now we're gonna pick up the winner for this week's um question um there is actually not a question you were guys supposed to send us your favorite quote from the watchman uh, series since doomsday clock is the direct sequel to Watchmen series all 12 issue and the winner is going to be winning the doomsday clock number one now the question was give us your favorite quote from the Watchmen series and the winner this week is actually the boys from um, College of Comics uh, they are frequent uh, regular here at the store um, so pretty much I know they watch this video so I will tell you this one of you guys have to come and pick it up <laughs> we know who you are um, so you don't we don't have to give you guys the um, the question or the password for you to pick it up you just have to decide battle to the death if you will who will pick up doomsday number one lenticular but their um, their quote that they pick was actually one of the most famous one by um, by one of the characters there it says None of you understand that you are not locked. Uh, you, I am not locked uh, locked in here with you. You are locked in here with me. So um, that's actually a really nice quote by. Do you know who it was, Edgar? I know. Hmm. I know. No. Austin Andrews. No. Uh, Keep naming. Scarlet Sultures. Nope. Well, Starts with R. Russia. By Rorschach, there we go. He named you named everyone, oh, but that much, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's by Rorschach. So, uh, congratulations to the boys of uh, College of Comics. Um, definitely, one of you guys go ahead, fight to the death. Um, if one of you guys come here all bloody, um, we're gonna assume that you're the one who won the Battle Royale to pick up Doomsday Clock number one. So, before we actually go through the next question, uh, for this week week uh we are going to go through with um our regular um actually our now regular question and answer so again we picked out from the um actually this is not a facebook question uh we picked it out from our instagram question um this question comes from kimberly olivia rachel kieran adams um we <laughs> we have a lot of subscribers with uh what is this four or five names edgar Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I don't know if uh, they're giving me the right name, but uh, apparently this is their this is her name, Kimberly Olivia Rachel Karen Adams. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna call her Kimberly. So Kimberly writes, "Hey Tim, I was wondering. I remembered I, I was offered bagging boards at my past comic book store, and I was given and charge for a bagging board that seems too large for my book." Is there a difference between the bag and boards that you guys have and what I was sold before? Thanks. Um, so Kimberly, there is a difference between the bag and boards. Um, one, um, 
I'm not quite sure. Uh, one, you know that we provide bagging boards free, and here they are BCW anti-acid bagging boards, and they are for free. Uh, so I will, I will tell you this personally. Uh, personally, I don't know why they charge you for a bagging board because it should actually be free. That's why we provide it for you. Um, another is that um, I guess you were charged for a Silver Age. Uh, bagging boards. You see, there's the difference between the bagging boards, which is current, which is now. Um, you're looking at possibly from the um, from the Bronze Age, 90s, and current um, comic books. The bagging boards are a little bit more different than the Silver Age. Silver Age that tend to be a little bit wider. Uh, that's because the prints and the paper and the uh, being used was a little bit more wider than um, than usual. You can actually tell the difference. Um, so I believe um, the reason why your book is actually wiggling around in there is because one, it's not snug. It should be snug, not tight, but it definitely should be snug when you actually uh, put your book in the bagging boards. Number two, it shouldn't be moving around. Um, there's a reason why you don't put a current age on the silver age bagging board because it'll be moving around and it's not nice and uh, snug. So that's a, that's a no-no there. Uh, it can still be damaged even though it's in the bagging board itself. So um, I would say next time, double check for future reference. Um, if any of our subscribe, uh, if any of our um, new customers are wondering if some of their bagging boards are like that, or um, if you know anyone who's being charged for bagging boards, um, definitely let them know one uh, why they charge you for bagging boards, uh, and two if they are going to charge you bagging boards and you are going to take it, make sure that you let them know that I need a current bagging board, anti-acid bagging board, not just a plastic and bag and, and board. Or, and it's a regular board, I need an anti-acid bagging boards and you need it for the current age. Um, and that should definitely um, help out your friends or just let them know to come over to our store because we give it up for free. So <laughs> we don't charge for them and we'll give you the most current bagging boards. Again, BCW anti-acid bagging boards for free. All right, so for this week's question, this is gonna be a big one and this is uh, one of the biggest giveaway, the, uh, well, not one of the biggest giveaway we're doing, but uh, there's gonna be bigger, but um, th this is definitely up there. So to promote and to, um, yeah, essentially to promote and to get the word out on our gift cards. See this gift card right here. See, it's nice and black. This is the black edition gift card, by the way. <laughs> we have we have two types. We have the black edition gift card, and then we have another gift card that has our um, Captain Multiverse um, mascot in it too as well. But um, we're gonna be giving away this gift card, and this gift card is actually a $20 gift card. Yes, you heard it right. We are actually giving away $20, okay? <laughs> so you have to treat this at, like cash. So this gift card again is $20, and, the and this is the price for this week's question. Now, I need everyone to answer because I just don't want to give it to just one person to just for default. Again, this is $20. You can get anything in the store and this is $20 right here. So for this gift card, the question is in honor of the um, in honor of the Dark Days Forge and casting um, director's cut that's just released today. The question is, who are the Batman? Okay. First, you gotta name all Batman from the Dark Multiverse, and you gotta name, and then you also gotta list how each of them got their powers. Okay, I'm gonna repeat that again for the twenty dollar gift cards, store gift cards, Multiverse Core Comic gift card. Name all seven Batman from the Dark Multiverse, and also how each and every one of them has gotten their powers okay so that is the question for this week um now just to end the whole thing again thank you for everyone who actually subscribed to our youtube channel and helping us reach 100 subscribers i guess we're at 105 right now so thank you for everyone who subscribed to our youtube channel and making us the most viewed youtube channel for a comic book store in the greater miami area as well as the fastest growing comic book store here also in the in the greater miami area thank you everyone um i will tell you this there is a brief teaser that i will tell you 
there is something special that I will do for you guys for helping us reach 200, but that's going to be on the next weekly Wednesdays. Um, definitely tune in for that. That's going to be really special. Edgar knows what it is and Matt knows what it is. So um, uh, here's your hint. I'm writing it right now as we speak. <laughs> but uh, thank you for everyone who's helping us. And go ahead, go right now. Um, actually, not right now, depending on when you're viewing this. It, it comes live at 12 p.m. to uh, on Wednesday. Go at 12 p.m on wednesday go ahead if you have an android download our app the very first comic book uh comic book store app here in the greater miami area again thank you for helping us reach all this landmark uh miami and we're going to continue working hard for you guys and remember every fifth wednesday of the month you will receive 20% off on your pull list as well as new releases and variant covers. But besides from that, the camera is going to run out and I don't want Edgar to be mad at me too as well. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call. I will be here. Matt over there. Matt, wait to your fans. There it is. Uh, and then Edgar is going to be here. Edgar, wave to your fans. He's waving. There you go. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give us a call. But until then, will we, well, we will see you next week. Bye.